Hello everyone. Welcome to a new project. This is a special one. Welcome to Let's Play Earthbound! This is one of my favorite games. I'm lucky to have grown up with a cartridge of this. So let's get started! since this is the first anniversary of my channel. Yes, this should be going up on July, on July 13th. I'm going to be doing a game that is very, very near and dear to my heart. It was a toss-up of either this or Wind Waker. This one out, and hopefully Sony doesn't decide to go after me. Because they will find that I am not going to go out without a fight. In any case, let's get started. Yeah, medium tech speed, stereo, we're going. I'm going with plain flavor. Although, nah, I was. Please name him. Come on, this should be easy. Yep, he's Ness. Anyone familiar with Smash Brothers? knows this guy. By the way, fun fact, that guitar solo at the very beginning was done by a guy by the name of M.D. Seeger. We know him by a different name, Shijiro Miyamoto. Alright, this is Paula. I believe that is uh, Shijisato Itoi himself, Shigesato Itoi, the guy who wrote the Mother series. We never got the first one, at least until the Wii U came around. That's Jeff. And this is Pooh. Our pet's name is King. And our food is Steak. You get rockin'. I'm not gonna do gaming. Let's get this show on the road. The year is 1990X. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Wow, we're nestled all the way up here. May as well be in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Ness's house. Let's go, let's see what this is about. What was that noise? You don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh. Okay. It'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go.
Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Shit. <laughs> Our dog has a very keen wit. Alright. As of now, there's not going to be any enemies. That's going to change, though. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Alright. Can't do that yet. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around. And I'm hungry. I hate my job. Yeah, the dialogue in this game is really, really good. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. You know I advise you not to go. It won't stop you, will it? Alright, those presents there are the equivalent of item boxes. They have useful stuff. That's going to be important later. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Yeah, I also know I'm going to get caught on you. There is a bread roll inside. That's a healing item. We'll be using that later. And that's... Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my blood, make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Whoop, whoop. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know? I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. This is Liar Exaggerates House. Right. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Oh boy, here he is right now. Nice timing. Yes, you do something about Porky. I know he's Porky and he's Pokey in the localization, but everywhere else he's Porky. He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yeah, and you live in the house next to us. I see. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, of way out, get my, whoop, my mistake, I mean, get out of my way. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking, you're getting in the cop, oops, I mean, officer's way. You can go hound now, tomorrow, I, Pokey, will give me, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. Respect my authority. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Psychological projection's one hell of a drug. Oh well, that's all we can do right now. May as well go back home. Now, this game shouldn't be throwing me any curveballs. I'm a bit more experienced with this game than I am with uh, Shin Megami Tensei 2. After all, I grew up with this game. <laughs> Alright, there's our mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Later that night. Oh, who could it be now? 
That's an annoying knock. Okay, now he's just beatboxing. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I already know what's coming up, so I may as well prepare for it. There is a cracked bat inside. This is going to be our first weapon. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? You answer it! Man, you are awfully brave for- no, oh, she's following at a distance. Oh, it's you. Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteor I landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteor I landed left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? He's not gonna give us much of a choice. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You're going far. Remember to go for it! But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. By the way, this song is Pokey's theme. Kinda discordant in it. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Alright, cookie. You also leave anything you don't need with me. Uh, we don't have anything to uh, hang on to. She will hold on to stuff. I don't know why, but she has. Our younger sister has a job. A company, even. You want me to go with you? I guess I got no choice. Let's go. Alright, King's joined us. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going! Pokey joined you. Fat lot of good he's gonna be. And the phone's ringing off the hook. Ness, answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 in your bank account. You have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a euro. Alright, Ness's dad will save our rec our progress, and he will deposit money whenever we defeat him on a uh, bad guy. What? Well, the follower of a year, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Okay, here we are. Things are going to get much more dangerous now. As you can see with enemies all right here. Alright, Spiteful Crow, this is the second weakest enemy. Now, you may be wondering about that swirl. That swirl will happen whenever you encounter an enemy. If you meet it head on, then it will be a gray swirl and things will go as usual. If you get a- oh, pecked up our eyes, youch. Oh, come on. Thank you. 
Okay, good. We won. 3 XP. And we have a cookie. Nice. So, green swirls. If we back attack an enemy, then we will we'll get a surprise turn and get an opening attack. If an enemy attacks us behind, though, we'll get a red swirl and it'll attack first. Alrighty. Stray dogs. The runaway dog. Ooh, smash attack. That's a critical hit. Yeah, Pokey doesn't do anything uh, useful. King's doing mo much of the uh, heavy lifting. After all, it's not like we can expect Pokey to actually do anything. Ooh, we got level 2 now. Offense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. We already got life up alpha? Okay. Yeah, PSI life up alpha. We already can heal ourselves. Pokey acted all innocent. Okay. If only we knew. If only we knew. These guys really don't want to, uh, attack. Good boy, King. Four experience points. Ah, uh, we haven't exactly encountered the weakest enemy, and those are coil snakes. Oh, speaking of... Coil snakes! smash attack, but, uh, we still won anyway. It gave us one experience. Wow. Another one? Really? Smiled insincerely. Great. Four damage. Hey. Every little bit counts, but still. We're gonna need to heal up now. Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Well, there he is, right up there. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Great. Well, there goes the only guy who is pulling his weight in here. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Gee, what a big surprise. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Alright, Picky is joining us. Picky is marginally better than his brother. He actually attempts to do damage. Ness, you hear a buzzing? That sounds like a bee flying around. 
Yeah, not at the moment. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Okay, now I hear it. I actually have a desktop pick that's like this. A B, I am not. You're lucky you're not buzzing around me, or I would have swatted you by now. I do not do insects. Like you. Noisy insects. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock. And will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You've much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yeah, we did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You're as exceptional as I expected you. Buzz Buzz joined us. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. <laughs> three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. And not with that attitude, you aren't. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding out of my chest. Huh. We don't have any random encounters. Not a single one. Yeah, I may as well see what a liar exaggerate wants to say. Yes, buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later, alone? That ain't creepy. That ain't creepy at all. Alright, with that, I think we are going to cut it right here. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Earthbound.